Hi, my name is Amanda Kappen, and this is a short demo on how you can use Quizlet for your classes. So I'm going to show you the free version of Quizlet, although if you're interested, you can also look into teacher accounts, which is a monthly or annual fee. But as mentioned for the demo, I'm going to show you the free version. So you would create your own account, username and login. And for the purposes of using Quizlet, it's really fantastic for courses that are heavy with terms and definitions. It's also really great to add to courses that perhaps don't have a textbook. And you can use Quizlet for your test reviews, practice quizzes, and so forth. So if you think you're going to use Quizlet for just a single set, then I would recommend that you just use the create function at the top of the screen there. If you think you're going to use Quizlet more comprehensively for a course, then I would recommend you create either a folder or a class where you can create several sets within those folders or classes. So I'm going to demonstrate how you would create a set and then I'll exit out to show you a set that I've already created to, so that you can see how students would use the set. So you would click on create, you would enter in your title, and then you just begin entering terms and definitions. And you do this several times for whatever number of terms and definitions you want uh, your students to have within a single set for a unit or for several units uh, for exam review and so forth. What you'll see is that Quizlet provides you with five cards for beginning. Um, but of course, I've created sets upwards of 30 cards. So you would just click add card uh, continually as you're adding cards to your set. You can add in images and all sorts of things to prompt students. You can move around the ordering of terms and definitions or click delete if you decide you don't want to include a term and definition that you've entered. And once you're done, you click create and your set is ready to go. You'll be prompted to um, share the URL with whoever uh, you would like to. So usually with uh, a class either on your learning management system or through some other format. So that's how you create a set. Um, now I'm going to show you a set that I've already created that I've used with my students so that you can see how it appears for them. So the first option it shows up as is in a flashcard format and you can see it's with term and then you click and it shows what the definition is. You can click the arrow and continue through the set. Some students might prefer to do this in full screen format. And here you'll see it provides added options of shuffling the deck of cards so they can mix it up for themselves. Um, they can also choose to switch between um, definition coming up first and having to guess at the term or vice versa. So now I've got the definition and I need to guess at the term. Term for the weakening or disappearance of a non-reinforced condition uh, response. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it also voice reads out the, the term and definition for you as well. So it's, um, it's very user friendly. And so again, you can see you click from card to card and you click so that you can see term definition and so forth or click back that way and do it that way. Um, so that's the flashcard format. Lots of students use that and find that probably one of the most useful uh, in terms of format. I've also had students use the learn format um, and when you use the learn format, it comes up kind of like multiple choice. So it's really awesome. It'll come up with uh, whatever definition you've answered. And then students have four options to select the appropriate term. I'm going to click on an incorrect uh, term so that it'll show you what would happen for students if they do so. So it'll say study this one. It'll tell them uh, the definition again and what the correct answer is and then what the student said. So it really prompts them to go back to their notes and study again. And then they can click any key to continue and another definition will come up for them. So that was flashcard and learn format. I personally have not used write or spell because it's not relevant for my courses or for my students, but it's definitely an option you can look into. And then the third one that I would recommend using is the test format. So it's really intuitive the way Quizlet arranges a test. So it'll come up with written answers, a selection of written answers, matching questions with terms and definitions, and then some multiple choice questions as well. The only flaw that, that uh, students might have concern or complaint about is for the written questions. If they type in the answer slightly different than how you've typed it in, it might uh, say that the student got it incorrect. But again, the student can just verify that they actually did get it correct. They just might have had a typo or perhaps you had a typo 
so the written questions might not come up aligned um, quite the way uh, it should. But it's really intuitive the way it drafts the test. So students can use that, they can check answers, and they can use that as a, as a study tool. Um, and then Quizlet also provides two game-like activities for students. Um, my students have used matching before, and it's really neat because it will time the students, and it comes up, again, kind of like the learn format of matching and multiple choice, where a student has to drag a term to the correct definition um, in order for it to disappear. And you can see again on the left-hand column, it's timing them there. Uh, so if they continue to drag and they're getting it wrong, hopefully getting more right than I am in my practice here, uh, then it'll continue to disappear uh, as the student gets it right and they can try again and try again and time themselves. So it's kind of fun. It, it sort of challenges their self-paced learning um, or they can use the gravity game, which similarly uh, terms will drop from the top uh, like a planet and students have to uh, type in the, the correct answer. And if they get the correct answer, then it disappears. And again, it'll, it'll tell them their score in the end and, and how well they did. So it makes learning really fun. It's great for tests, uh, for reviews, for exam reviews, or for practice quizzes. Um, if you decide that you want to use Quizlet live in class, it has also been really, really useful. My students have quite enjoyed it. Um, uh, Quizlet won't let me do a demo of this because I don't have a live class to show you um, how it works. Um, but you, you would just click on uh, using Quizlet live. And if you're interested in learning how that works, I've included a video from the Quizlet website um, that will show you how, how it works in live format with uh, visuals and so forth of students using it. So again, I really recommend uh, using a set in live format if you're using it in person and you've now seen how to use it uh, for online tools for your courses through your learning management system. I hope you've found this helpful. Thanks for listening.